king or a little street sweeper, but sooner or later you dance with the reaper. <laughs> what are the safest new cars to lessen your chances of meeting the grim reaper? Let's buckle up, say a little prayer, and get started. From our top 10, first up is the Mercedes C-Class. With an adult occupant score of 93% and an equally impressive child occupant rating of 89%, the C-Class had good whiplash protection from rear collisions for both front and rear seat passengers. And although in the extreme side pull test, roof deformation is noticeable, protection of all critical body areas was good and the car still scored maximum points. With an active bonnet that pops up to lessen pedestrian impacts and strong performance from its safety assist systems, it narrowly beat out both the Cupra Born and Neo EL6 from reaching the top 10. So, what do you think of that score, Death? Talk to the head. Of course, the world's safest car is anyone that you walk away from in a serious collision, but it certainly helps if you drive a Tesla. At number 9 is the 2022 version of the Model S. Famously over-engineered, the Tesla made light work of both the side barrier and side pull test. Although in the front offset collision, there was higher driver chest compression, meaning the Model S received a marginal rating. However, the company's collision avoidance systems are the best in the business, with the vehicle scoring a hugely impressive 98%. Just don't fall asleep while using autopilot and a steering wheel weight. That would be good night Vienna for sure. At number eight, an amazing result for the super mini sized VW Polo, which beats both the Toyota Igo X and Ford Puma in recent Euro NCAP tests. Its biggest failing concerned its A pillars, which presented a greater injury risk to pedestrians than some other vehicles. And, although its safety assist systems aren't up to the same level as more expensive and larger cars, the Polo makes for a great choice for young drivers, wanting a decent handling and safe small car. Cat got your tongue death? At seven is the Polo-based VW Tygo. Unsurprisingly, it scored almost identically to the Polo with 94% for adult occupant protection. However, additional tests were performed for the Tygo, including a separate front deformable barrier test. An inspired result for an otherwise comfortable but uninspiring car. At six, yet another Volkswagen, but this time the all-electric ID7. With a length of five meters and a hefty weight of 2.2 tons, the Chinese-made ID7's design may be divisive, but its safety credentials aren't in doubt scoring an impressive 95% for adult occupant protection. Volkswagen also demonstrated that if the car entered water, the doors, if locked, could be opened within two minutes of power being lost, and that its windows would remain functional long enough to allow occupants to escape. Scoring full points in the side barrier test, as well as the more severe side pull test, for the full width rigid barrier impact, Protection of all critical body areas was good, with decent results for both driver and passengers. The ID7 is also equipped with child presence detection, a system which issues a warning when it recognizes that a child or infant has been left in the car, while its vulnerable pedestrian protection and safety assist systems being comparable to the BMW 5 Series. Is the Grim Reaper frustrated that modern cars are safer than ever? Damn right! Next up, the jelly mold shaped Mercedes EQE. With very similar results to the C-Class, but securing an extra 2% adult occupant rating over its smaller sibling, the Mercedes gets a wow rating in terms of how strong the vehicle is. It literally brushes off even the side pole test with aplomb. In fact, our only concern is that in a two vehicle offset accident, anything colliding with the EQE will surely come off worse not least because of its 2.4 ton curb weight. But hats off to Mercedes engineers, its test results are excellent. In four, it's the Neo ET5, a super strong electric vehicle from China, which sells mainly in Norway, Sweden, and Germany. Although it's a fringe player at best, nevertheless, Neo's cars all do well in Euro NCAP tests, with the ET5 being top pick. Famed for its swappable electric battery, this luxury sedan is also a top safety pick, albeit not a cheap one. At this rate, death will need a new occupation. 
Now on to the top three. The somewhat left field smart one, or hashtag one as it's officially known, is a 4.3 meter small electric SUV. Unsurprisingly, as a joint venture between Mercedes and Volvo owner Geely, both the Smart One and its larger sibling, the Smart 3, score well in Euro NCAP's adult occupancy ratings. Notable for its front seats and head restraints, which demonstrated good protection against whiplash injuries, the same was also true for its rear seat occupants. For vulnerable road users, the Smart One systems performed well in tests with collisions avoided in most test scenarios. The one downside was that traffic sign recognition did not perform as designed, although software updates would likely fix the issue. So isn't the Grim Reaper even slightly impressed yet? I suppose. Tested in 2022, the Hyundai Ioniq 6 scored the highest ever Euro NCAP adult protection score of 97%. Perhaps it's the car's looks, which will also help fend off a visit from death himself. But either way, this car has a low Grim Reaper rating, and here's why. In the frontal offset test, the Ioniq 6 offered good protection of the knees and femurs of both the driver and passenger. And, despite its added EV weight, it would also be a benign impact partner in a frontal collision. In the side barrier test, protection of all critical body areas was good, and the Ioniq 6 scored maximum points. The vehicle also has a countermeasure to mitigate against occupant-to-occupant -occupant injuries, with good protection of dummies' heads during the test. Tesla's Model Y shares top spot with the Hyundai. While the devil has been known to mess with Tesla's panel fit and finish, the Model Y performed admirably in both the frontal offset test and full-width rigid barrier test. In both cases, protection of the driver and front stroke rear passengers was good for all critical body areas. Side impact tests also proved to be of no concern to the Model Y, and the Tesla was also shown to have good seat whiplash protection for all passengers. Lacking an active bonnet, one of the few areas for improvement was the weak or poor results at the base of the windscreen and on the stiff windscreen pillars for pedestrians or cyclists. So does the Grim Reaper feel defeated against some of the world's safest cars? If you drive safely, then likely he won't be turning up uninvited. Any last words, death? Get you later.